stop and occasionally, and we are gonna admire some of these plaques as we're walking. And other plaques that you will see me stop and zoom in on are people thanked along the way for their incredible donations that help preserve the natural wildlife in this area and help preserve the shoreline from erosion. As you can see, all of those rocks within the area are, have been hauled in over the last two years to help with land erosion. And coming up, we have, I think this is our second sign. It talks about nature and the, the natural neighborhoods, creating a natural neighborhood. There you go. We'll pause, we'll let you guys take a look at this, and I hope you all enjoy this vlog. Now, continuing on, you guys, we have a living shoreline, native plants that give a natural, lush feeling along the connecting waterfront trail system. A 54-mile Bridge to Bay Trail shoreline also provides an eco-friendly waterfront. It, it is a dog-friendly beach, playground, commissions, concessions, sorry, concessions and restrooms. Parking is easy and convenient for a quick dip to cool off on a hot summer day. The city boat launch and fishing and fish cleaning stations are also next to the marina, which you will see in part three. And just a little further down, we also have our kayak launches that is easily accessible to the St. Clair River. Across from the beaches and shoreline area is an extensive city park with shades and picnic areas. Um, the splash pad is currently at Lakeside Beach and, you know, the playground offers a wide variety of handicap accessible stuff and non-handicap accessible stuff. There are many popular events that take place also around this maritime area. The 4th of July fireworks are a great view to watch go off over the skyline. That's just one. It's a great place to relax and unwind and have a picnic in the shade while watching freighters pass by. This historic city of tree-lined streets has an outdoor entertainment and courtyard with fire pits, comfortable seating and walkable shopping and restaurants, along with a brewery and a wine house. A short walk over the drawbridge from the boardwalk is, a, is our downtown Port Huron. It has a bunch of dock sides that you can pull up to park your boat and relax while you are in the midst of really watching everything go by and grabbing a quick bite to eat. Oh yeah, and we also offer a downtown grocery store. That is right. So guys, sit back and enjoy. Take on the amazing views and we will see you on our next video. Thanks guys, have a great day. Oh yeah, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any of our awesome destinations. Bye guys.
Thank you.